Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited to have you guys here today because this is my first fall makeup tutorial of the season. And I say first because there are so many more to come. So I wanted to kind of like kick off fall with something easy, something really pretty, and it just kind of get us into the fall vibes. Personally, fall is my favorite season of the year. I love the tones, the vibes, coziness, all the colors. Like I really love fall. Even though I don't live in an area that nearly feels like fall, I still love the season and kind of like the vibes of it. So I wanted to create this look that is clearly inspired by fall. Originally, this video was supposed to be a full face and new makeup, but not everything I'm using is new so for that reason it's only like a partial but you know what I mean so I hope you guys enjoyed this look if you guys do give me a thumbs up also if you guys have any shadow combos or any like look that you want to see recommendations leave them down below but you know this is just kind of the start of it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look anyways I love you guys enjoy today's video and yeah let's get into it Ooh, you guys it's been a while since I've gotten glammed but I'm ready for it. I want to let you guys know that I just shaved my face. Does anyone shave their face around here? Personally, I get my face lasered because I am a pretty hairy girl, so I got to get a lot of laser done. But I love these little razors in between. These have been around for so many years, and I've always used them to kind of like clean up around my brow area. And then I also use the Derma Flash, which literally gives you the best exfoliation to your face as well. So when I'm in between getting my laser appointments, I just kind of use these razors. But this one is like really nice and sharp. I just kind of went through my face earlier and got like the sides of my cheek a little bit, a little bit around the chin area. I just kind of like cleaned my whole face up. Personally, I feel like my skin looks really nice and bright right now. I just like it. It gives you like a really nice texture to your skin. Um, so let me know if you guys ever want like a tutorial on how to use this or the Derma Flash because I swear by these for like your face. So I'm gonna start off with the first one from La Luz, and this is the All Day Beauty Water a Refreshing Mist that you spray on your skin either before makeup, after, in between, or whenever you need that like boost of radiance or you want to refresh your skin. I am someone who drenches my skin in mist all the time, but yeah, it smells really good. I personally love the smell of a spa. I think it's like refreshing. It's a nice little like reset. So yeah, this is the beauty water. So next I'm going in with a product that actually isn't that new, but it may be new to a lot of you guys, and it is from Guerlain, and it is their watery youth oil. Now the reason I'm gonna be using it today is because it was recently sent to me in PR, and I love this stuff. I actually have it. I don't think I've really ever used it here on my channel, but if you're somebody who doesn't like the oily finish but you like oils you actually might love this right here it has the richness of an oil but it actually feels like you're almost applying on like a serum and it's also super refreshing as well I'm doing a couple of drops onto my hand and the reason i'm using this too is because as you guys know i just literally shaved my face so i don't want to irritate my skin either and add anything that's gonna like irritate it or cause it to feel kind of like razor burn on your face. Did I mention it's anti-aging? If not, it's anti-aging. So that is a plus. So next I'm gonna be going in with the Pharmacy Honey Halo, which is one of their newest moisturizers. First of all, when I saw this, I really just fell in love with the overall packaging of it. Like, look how cute it is. I feel like it could just go with my aesthetic in the background. Um, it has this beautiful like wooden lid, as also the shape of a honeycomb. And then there's a magnet in here, which allows the spatula to sit on top of there, which is nice so you don't gotta dip your finger in here. So this is an intense moisturizer that is gonna help to replenish dry and distressed skin. It also has honey and ceramides in here. So that's actually gonna help to protect your skin's moisture barrier. So I'm gonna scoop out just like a, about that much uh, because it is like a pretty intense moisturizer. I feel like a little will go a long way. Smells really good, just like honey. And definitely on the thicker side, but pretty easy to buff into the skin. Although it is like an intense moisturizer, it doesn't really feel that heavy on the skin. It actually feels really, really good. And lastly for my skincare, I'm gonna go in with some eye cream from e.l.f. So this is their newest one, which is their 50 milligram CBD eye cream. So this is gonna help to soothe, revive, and plump your under eyes. So this feels really nice and cooling on the under eye. Feeling of that, it's like definitely waking up my eyes for sure. So the CBD in here is it's actually going to nourish and soothe your under eyes. It's gonna help to reduce the appearance of aging and then hyaluronic acid, which is going to plump this area. So you guys see, I always kind of target right here. I press, and then I work my way up. All right, skincare is done. I'm gonna go ahead and let my skin absorb it all before I move into any kind of products. So I usually do this so that when I go in with my primer, my foundation, it just kind of grips and stays on versus everything sliding around. So now we're gonna move into my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the Benefit Brow Microfilling Pin. I'm sure you guys have been seeing this everywhere. This has been probably the best brow product I've used all year. It has changed my brow routine, the way my brows look, 
my brow game. I feel like my brows look so much better since I've started using this. So I want to show you guys how I apply on and also kind of like why I like it. So as you can see, I have really, really thick, thick hair. It takes a lot to make my brows look good without them looking too sharpied on. I don't know, just like not looking real. That's something that I struggle with because my brow hair is so thick. So there's really not many products that I can use that make them look really, really good. This I feel like has answered everything I've wanted because it's gonna mimic the way my brow looks but make it look better and fuller and more fluffier. It has this really cool three prong tip on there. Pretty much what that's going to do is mimic the appearance of real hair. One thing I liked about this versus like other brow pins I've used in the past is that this doesn't bleed and I feel like a lot of them, like you put it on and it kind of tends to shift away. It stays on really good, waterproof, smudge proof, all that good stuff. So I really, really love the way it looks and I'm gonna, I feel like I should zoom you guys in a little more because you need to see it. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush my brow hairs up. You just gotta do this just to kind of make sure that they're in place. And also, you wanna make sure they're clean of any products. And since I just put moisturizer on, I wanna like get everything out. So normally with any of the brow products, I would start usually in the back. But with this product, I like to start in the front, look it up, and then work my way back. So it looks super natural by the time it gets over here. So I'm going to start right here and just flick. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So this is a shade medium brown in case you guys are wondering. So the medium brown, it's a little lighter than my natural hair, but I personally don't like my brows to be too, too dark. Um, so I think this color works really great for me, but there is one shade darker and two shades lighter. That's it. It took literally like eight seconds to do that. It is such an easy application and that's honestly just what I like to do with it. You can fill it in more towards the front, but I want it to look as soft as possible towards the front. So for that reason, I just kind of stop right there. So now I'm gonna move onto this brow and do the same thing starting right at the front. So again, just kind of press it towards the root and then flick back. Honestly, the better your brow is, like the fuller it is, the easier it is to apply as well because you're only having to fill in a couple areas versus having to fill the whole thing in. Isn't that so good? They look so natural. I'm going to grab a little concealer to do a brow cleanup. All right, so on this side, I went ahead and did a brow cleanup just so it can look a little cleaner. This is optional. You don't have to do it, but personally, I love the way it looks on me because I feel like it just brightens up the eyebrow, my eye, and just makes this area look complete. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this side real quick, and I'll be right back. Ooh, they look so, so good. I love them. So now we're going to move into my complexion, and, I'm not, and I actually do not have a new primer, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of the Tatcha Liquid Delt Canvas onto my T-zone. So I decided today that I'm going to do my complexion first and then do my eyes after. I don't know why. I'm just in the mood to do it that way, do a different routine today, so. All right, there we go for Silk Canvas. I just did one pump and that's all you really need. So for foundation, we're gonna be using the new NARS Soft Matte Foundation, which I love this stuff right here. So if you guys know me, you know that I'm like a ride or die NARS Natural Radiance kind of girl. I love that foundation. It's great. Coverage, finish, look of it, feel of it, long wearing, it's amazing. So think of this as the sister to that one, but obviously being more matte. Um, if you're somebody who in the past has wanted to wear this one and you're like, it's a little too oily on me or my skin's too oily, it kind of slips, then you are definitely want to go on this route. Now, because I am dry, I obviously loaded up on moisturizer and oils and I didn't do too much primer. I just kind of did it in my T-zone. So it's important that you kind of listen to your skin and make sure that you use the right product so that it will complement it. Obviously, if I'm dry, I'm not going to use a super oil-free moisturizer and like a super mattifying primer. I'm gonna try to give my skin as much hydration and luminosity as I possibly can. So when this goes on, it lays on the perfect surface for my skin type. If you're oily, do what you gotta do to make your skin ready for this foundation. All right, so I'm gonna use a shade Barcelona. And then with whatever's left, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brush. We're kind of working into the brush. And then now just kind of start to apply it. As you can see, this is a really nice full coverage foundation. Even though it does have that soft matte finish, it still looks super natural. Even though it is a soft matte, 
it still looks really natural on the skin. It has a 16 hour wear. It's not gonna shift once it's on the skin or change after an hour of it being on. It stays true to color. So it's rated online, but it's available also in 34 shades and it's shine and transfer proof, which is very cool. And for my concealer, you guys already know I'm gonna be using this one from Rare Beauty. I love this concealer, guys. If you haven't watched my review on it, definitely go watch it. You can get more information about this concealer and why I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this to definitely brighten up my under eyes. And what's nice too is that this is gonna be more of a hydrating concealer, full coverage AF, but uh, this along with like a super matte foundation, fire, it's gonna look so good. To blend out, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and press into the skin. I'm gonna work over the eye now. And then I'm also gonna use this little sponge from e.l.f. right here. This actually came in like a little duo, uh, but I'm gonna use this towards the inner corner of my eye to just kind of blend it out. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I need some bronzer. <laughs> I need to add a little bit of color to my life. Um, and you know what's crazy is that I don't have a new bronzer, but I have a new one that came out this year, so we're gonna have to use that. And it is this one right here from Buxom. It is the Staycation Vibes Rooftop Tan Bronzer. This is like great for adding just a little bit of color, um, and that's exactly what we need. See how that alone just did something to me? I'm also gonna work it towards the apples and my cheeks just to kind of get that area looking nice and bronzed. So in a bit, we're gonna tap into some blush and highlight, but I need to set my skin first, and I have two products I'm gonna be setting with. So the first one is this new powder from Jouer, and this is a Soft Focus Hydrate Set Powder. When I got this, I saved it on the side because I really wanted to try it on camera with you guys. So what intrigued me about this is that it's a setting powder, but it's hydrating as well, so it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. So this, I feel like on my under eyes, is gonna be heaven. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree that certain powders will just kind of sink and sit into there. So I'm, I've been intrigued to try this one on. So what I'm gonna do first and foremost is grab my sponge and make sure that there is no creasing and there's just like a little bit, but not nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go in with this angled brush. I'm gonna tap right into the center. A lot of you guys may not know this, but I actually do set my under eyes before I go in with baking. Sometimes I show it on camera, sometimes I don't. But I always set because I find it to just kind of like seal it when I go in with my translucent Lucetti powders. It sits on a really smooth surface and nothing's gonna shift, nothing's gonna sink into. So if you guys have ever dealt with setting powders sinking in or, or even wanting to bake and you can't figure out why it's not working the same on you, I highly recommend doing a pressed powder first. Make sure it's a good one with no iridescence or uh, no like shimmery particles. So you wanna go ahead and set underneath and all I'm doing is just pressing to really lock this area in. And then from there I'm gonna go into baking and setting with the powder. I'm somebody who's become so used to setting with Laura Mercier translucent powders or any powders in general that I truly feel when I don't wear a setting powder, it doesn't look the same anymore. Like I feel like there's something missing. So I'm somebody that is always faithful and loyal to my powders, but I do find that when I set underneath first and then do this, it just creates magic underneath of the eye. So I'm gonna be setting today with the new translucent honey powder. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of honey going on right now. I don't know if I've talked to my YouTube fam on here about this powder, but this is the newest one to the translucent family. It's got a beautiful golden peach undertone, which is gonna be great for almost any skin tone, but especially medium to deep skin tones. This is gonna be the best powder for your skin to not only set, but to brighten you up, make you look golden. If you ever felt like this maybe was too light for you, I would definitely try this one out. I'm somebody that I like to mix both of these together because this one to set under my eyes with is a little bit too dark. I like to add a little bit of the original one in the mix right here and it's perfect guys it is perfect so I dipped first into honey and I'm just now mixing translucent in there and all I'm gonna do is just press this underneath of my eyes again we are locking in the under eye area this is gonna allow it this is gonna really seal the makeup underneath of your eye and also allow your makeup to wear longer as well. I find that I get no creasing and no movement underneath when I set with this powder. So for me, it's like an absolute must. And you guys know that I am so loyal to this powder. Loyal. Okay, I'm gonna go now along the side of my nose, do a little bit of snatching. And now I'm gonna go in with the other side of my powder and press right into translucent honey. And I'm just gonna do this along my jawline to brighten up this area. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna go and let that bake for a minute and we're gonna move now into eyes. All right, so for my eyes, we have had some amazing palettes launch within the last month and a half or so. So many great ones, but I have one that I have been obsessed with. I actually think it's sold out too, but this palette 
is everything and it is the pure x raw beauty christy palette if you guys got your hands on this i'm sure you are obsessed with it because this happens to be like the coolest palette ever it's actually dual sided and one side has like a bunch of fun colors in here and then the other side has all the neutral shades but these yellows in this palette are insane guys they are so beautiful the payoff on this palette is so great this has been like my go-to day palette for maybe the past month and a half and i can't get over just how good it is so because of that i really wanted to incorporate it in this look because it is still to me a new palette it's also one that i feel like i want to give so much love to because i'm obsessed with the formula and i overall just like like the payoff on it the way it blends there's just nothing bad i can say about this palette whatsoever and i've just been wanting to do a look with it so these right here just happen to be i think these are like the perfect fall colors you have like your dark browns you have your sienna shades or yellow you have this matte color in here that is like the perfect off-white, beigey, with like a good tad bit of like blush in there shade that is so good. Uh, this color is great. This is like a mustard kind of yellow. And then there's one more yellow in here that I really like as well. So it's an overall just like beautiful palette that I just have been obsessed with. And before I go in with that, I'm gonna be applying on a new shadow base. This is the Agave Bloom. And I'm gonna take in my little e.l.f. brush. I really don't think they needed a base today to be honest with you guys. I do have a bunch of concealer on it but why not let's just let's just try it out see how it works I'm gonna be using new brushes as well today this is from the NAS X BH cosmetics collaboration so she launched all these brushes right here so there's a couple of face ones and then a couple of eye ones and I think for like the remainder of today's look I'm just gonna use these and then we're gonna be using these for the eyes so I'm gonna start off by using the brush this one is number six I think we're gonna go in with Camelot which is the matte yellow I'm just going to press this on my lid I'm kind of into doing the foundation first. I feel like this is going by so fast and normally I'd be here like for 10 hours blending out my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with that color Camelot and start blending this just on my lid and all over my eye. And then from there, just like lightly tapping my way up. And then now on the side, just kind of like flick it around as well. And I'm actually gonna flip it over and pick up a little bit of the shade Dandelion, which is gonna be just like a little brighter. And I'm going to focus this towards like the outer corner of my eye. I'm now gonna grab brush five and I'm gonna pick up the shade Told You. Kind of like a caramel burnt sienna shade. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of hit the corners of that. I don't want it to turn too orange. I just want like a hint of it right in this area. That looks so pretty guys. And I feel like I did that really, really fast. Maybe doing my foundation first is a new thing for me. Because I feel like I barely tapped on my eyes and I was done. Yeah, I really, really like this. I'm now going to move on to the other eye. Once again, starting with Camelot. And then just press this onto the lid. And then from there, I'm just going to wiggle into the crease to make sure it's nice and blended. We never want to have that crazy line of demarcation, especially working with mattes. We want to make sure that everything looks nice and seamless. And with brush number five, I'm picking up the shade Told You and then hitting the crease and going over Camelot with that shade and then just kind of working it around. I'm picking up the shade Golden Ticket and I'm going to add this to the inner corner of the eyes. This is a really nice golden undertone. It gives a really nice pop as well. And now I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner from Alamar and it is called Coqueta. And what I'm gonna do is hit this just on the outer corner of my eye. So right here. I feel like whenever I do a fall look, unless it's like a real crazy glam look, I won't do like any kind of black liquid liner. I generally just like to stick with like a pencil or brown. And that is pretty much it. I don't want to do too much eyeliner. Love how this came out. I'm obsessed with this. So for my mascara, we're actually going to be using two different mascaras. So I have right here the NARS Climax Extreme, which is going to be going on my top lashes. And then my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using the new Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Lash. You guys will all understand why. So let's go in with this one. Let's talk first and foremost about the wand on this. Super fluffy, very nice, but it's not like that annoying fluffy that's not gonna do anything. You can tell this is really gonna get in there. So I'm going to start off by rolling this right at the root of my lash. By the way, if you guys have ever used NARS Climax, this is gonna be her sister, and she is, she's putting work on my lashes. So this is called Extreme Climax because it is going to be extremely pitch black and give you that extreme volume. As you can see, this is like, I haven't even dipped in once and it's already done this lash and half of this one. So it's definitely living up to its name. 
There we go. And then for my lashes, I'm gonna pop on my favorites from Beauty Creations called Daydream. You guys have heard me talk about these. If you haven't, these are literally my favorite lashes. They are 3D faux mink, so they are cruelty free. Um, and they're just beautiful. Like so fluffy and so pretty. I feel like they just complete the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snap my fingers and they're gonna be right on. Look at the difference. Eyelashes make the look and these, I'm telling you guys, are fire and they're $6.99, so get them. Went ahead and dusted off the excess powder that was on my skin because it was sitting there for so long. I also added a little bit of highlight and then some shadow to my lower lash line and all I did was use a little bit of the Camelot and Told You color together. So lastly, I'm going to be finishing off my lower lashes with the Pillow Talk Push Up Lash Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is one that when I first saw it, I'm not going to lie guys, I wasn't like really into the way the brush looked. Like it's flat, I don't know, I wasn't convinced. So I decided instead of using it on my top lashes, I tried it on my bottoms because with my bottoms, I do like a brush that's like this. And back in the day, I used to go in on my lower lash mascara, but because a lot of brushes are so big now, I do just a little bit and that's it. But this right here, this right here is probably my favorite thing I've added on my bottom lashes in a while. So watch, let me just, let me just show you guys what it does. So because it is like a comb, it's really easy to tug it and then pull down. And it comes through every single lash from root to end. So you can really maximize the way your lashes look with it. Okay, so working now on my second eye, I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, also because of the brush size, you can really, really get in there. See what I mean? It just really brings out my lower lashes. It kind of gives it like a muñeca vibe as well. So now we're gonna move into the last product of today's makeup look, and that is my lip color. So. I didn't really have new lips that I felt are fall worthy at this point. I feel like we were in the beginning of fall, so there's still a lot of new products that are gonna be coming out soon. So I try to find the most fallish lip that I have, and this one's actually new to me. Um, it was in a recent package from KBD Vegan Beauty, and it is this liquid lip called Plath. And then the lip liner is from Melt, and it is called French Kiss. I'm sure these are existing colors, but they're new to me. I just got them like in the mail recently, so I figured this will be perfect for this look. So I'm gonna go in with the shade French Kiss and start lining my lip. I'm also gonna use a little bit of Coqueta because it is a little deeper. Just a little bit. And now going in with Plath to finish off the lip. All right, guys, so that is it for today's makeup tutorial. I absolutely love, amo this entire look, guys. It came out so good. I love the eyes, the brows, the lips, the skin. I just love the way it came out. I'm so happy with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, again, let me know down below what kind of looks you guys want to see for upcoming fall tutorials. We do have some fall decor videos coming up. We have another clutter, declutter, cleaning video coming up as well. Um, we still have a lot of videos coming up, so go ahead and leave suggestions down below. Um, other than that, I love you guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.